So this isn't actually the video, well it is video, but it's kind of like about a series of the video if that makes sense. So it's not actually about this video, I'm speaking really quick, I do apologise. Um, it's not like, so basically, if you see a gameplay that you don't like, say for example you don't like watching GTA, you don't like watching FIFA, you don't like watching uh, Little Mermaid, it's not actually going to be the video itself, it's just going to be the gameplay. Like, all, all the gameplay is just literally whatever game I'm on at the time, I will grab a bit of gameplay and just chuck it in behind my voice because obviously I'm going to be doing a story time. I'm not, it's not actually going to be live me playing it, it's just going to be pre-recorded. So I just want to say, if you don't like the gameplay, you can just listen to, listen to the story if you need to. If you like the gameplay, then it's a bonus, but I thought I'd just say that, but I would, uh, this is recorded to a different time than the other uh, video you're about to see. This is after, so it's kind of like this what you're seeing now is after what I've just done um, yeah I think that's all let's just jump straight into the video see ya so over a month ago I made a video which was story time which me speaking about going to an abandoned hospital and then I basically repeat the process this one I'm not going to repeat because it's another story time which I wouldn't like to repeat but well, I'm going to repeat it in the story obviously but I'm not going to repeat the actual live situation so this one is more of a i'm asking you who was in the wrong because i was speaking to my cousin about it earlier and we didn't really establish who was in the wrong and i was just like it was making me think because this is what happened all right so a few years ago six i was 16 i'm 19 now i was bonfire night and i was out with a few of my mates they got their mates out we was all meeting at mcdonald's and then we was going to go to this bonfire place because it was a uh, bonfire night and I was having a fire. So uh, what happened was, we was all at McDonald's, you know, chilling. Some of us was inside, some of us was outside. Like there was, there must have been quite a lot. To be fair, there was about 25 of us to 30 of us. And it was because we was all meeting there. Like say, for example, I'd meet a few of my mates, they'd meet their mates and just kind of all bundled together. And what happened was, police showed up and we was like, oh, it's because there's a lot of us. And, um, when they showed up, they started questioning us, like, oh, we're, uh, we've had reports of uh, people damaging cars. And we was like, what do you mean? And they were like, oh, one of you lot have keyed, uh, keyed one of these cars out here. So I was like, I've not got any keys on me, so it's not me. And the officers turned around, and he's got up in my face, like, what, do you think you're the joker of the group? And, uh, it could have been a rock or something like that. I was like, you just said it was a key. How was I meant to know it was something else? And he was like, oh, yeah, you think you're funny, don't you? And I was like, no, not really. He kind of carried on with the convo on that again, and he was like, uh, can everyone empty their pockets? And I was like, I've already told you I've not got no keys, and then, uh, but I'd empty my pockets anyway. And he thought I was being cheeky. So, uh, he's basically, he's got up in my face, and uh, at this point I was starting to get annoyed, because I ain't done nothing wrong, I've not keyed no car, I was out with my mates, and he just decided to jump on me. Not actually jump on me physically, but like, jump on me, start accusing me of stuff. So, um... At this point, I wouldn't say I was getting mouthy to him, but I was kind of arguing, snapping at him because he was annoying me. And then he's grabbed me and yanked me across the car park and slammed me across the police car. And uh, started asking for my name, saying, do I want to spend this night in the police cell? And at this point, I was pissed off, so I was being cheap. At this point, he started searching me, threatening to arrest me, handcuffed me, slam me against the car park, grabbing me, squeezing my wrists. And I've done nothing wrong. All I said is I didn't have keys. And I know, like, you hear, you'll hear this a lot, saying, oh, I didn't do nothing wrong, but... I've got no reason to lie, like, I'm just saying how it is, if there was any other side of it I'd tell you how it was. So I can't 100% remember if he actually did handcuff me or not, but he was popping like, rough manhandling me, just pushing me up against the car, like, bodying me against the car, grabbing my arms, putting them behind my back, threatening to arrest me. Bear in mind, I was only 16, I wasn't tall when I was 16, I was like 5 foot 7. Fully grown man just manhandling me because apparently I was cheeky for saying I don't have any keys. Like, this is what I want to know, am I in the wrong? Or would you lot say it as well? If he said to you, oh, one of you lot have keyed a car and you didn't have keys on you, would you say, ah, oh, would you would your first reaction be like, ah, oh, he could have been a block? Or would you be like, ah, oh, I don't have keys on me? Like, I honestly thought, like, that's honestly my reaction. I was like, I don't have keys on me. And he just switched and thought I was being cheeky and that's where it all kicked up. So this story time is literally just me asking, who would you say? I don't. If you think I'm in the wrong, let me know. If you think he's in the wrong, let me know. But I honestly want you to tell me: Am I in the wrong, or is he in the wrong? Or could he went about it a different way and went, "No, I meant the rock." Like you don't need to kind of, kind of could have thought about that before responding and stuff like that. Who was in the wrong? If you did make it to the end of the video, be sure to leave a like. 
I will be doing more story time soon. I've got a lot more stories. Until next time, see you later.